everybody. I have some new watercolors to show off here today. So uh, I just did this one to fill out some time and uh, it was a relatively quick piece. Uh, I just waited until last night for this to dry and it came out pretty well actually. And I always like using watercolor pencils because you just get more uh, depth that way and uh, it doesn't become such a mess. But I really like I really like how this came out so quite good. I like how everything meshes well. I, mean, I like watercolor very much. I mean, just you work in uh, something permanent like oil paints. Um, and I mean, that's good too, but you know, I don't have the patience for that kind of thing. So uh, this this has this just has quicker results. Oh, pardon me, but so yeah, this other piece is uh sort of based on uh, watching Candyman the other day, and I just thought, now what would that be like if I I sort of did my own thing on him. As you can see, there's the image of him and his uh, brutal metal hook and <laughs> covered in swarms of bees and a cracked window and, I mean, m cracked mirror image, but uh, I don't know, it's just all these things came to mind and I just wanted to draw it out. Although it wasn't exactly what I had in mind, I just wanted this all to be red, but I don't know, it just this looks too bright, but you know, I'm afraid of, I'm I'm afraid to fix it or else I might ruin it. So, uh, uh, the bees. I'm not exactly uh, pleased with the design of the bees uh, all around, but uh, I suppose uh, if they looked warped, I mean, I think it might help this. But you know, but yeah, I tried to do something where it looked like wings were coming out of uh, the candy man, but I just sort of never never came out that way. So. But, uh, I do like this a lot, though. I mean, I really do. And Candyman's probably, uh, uh, an interesting tidbit. I mean, it was one of those few horror movies that actually managed to frighten me when I was a kid. I mean, I I remember going into this movie thinking that it was going to be a generic slasher movie, but... Oh, boy, that <laughs> scarred me for life, but... Well... It actually uh, turned me into liking horror movies, so uh, something to thank for that. And uh, this too, uh, I'm pleased how this came out, although uh, it took a long time to correct because the color wasn't um, the way I wanted it. But yeah, just uh, just some little character, you know, a torso man, you know, standing in a pile of bodies, or no, not bodies, uh, limbs. It replaces old rotting ones with. Absolutely love that. Last but not least, my uh, tribute to. Uh, what was his name again? Uh, Paul. Or Paul Gray, the bassist from Slipknot, who sadly passed away. Uh, this took the longest out of all of them to not just do, but try and correct because the color wasn't color wasn't right, so, and I remember getting that, uh, that two over there just to get it correct, I, like, I don't know, the white would just get, the white would just get everywhere, and I wanted the barcode to be, uh, white as well, but just didn't, uh, come out too well, especially, uh, correcting all the red on there and everything, so, just had to fill it out with a marker, and so like, it's, it's done, so, uh, I like how his uh, past mask there uh, looks. I mean, I know it's not it's not that accurate, but it, you know, I just sort of like it in its um, vagueness and that too. Uh, again, his uh, his current mask there. I mean, it wasn't too accurate to anything, but I just like how that came out. You know, I just wanted it to look like his current mask, so. And uh, I thought it was just me, but uh, I didn't realize he was left-handed on that bass. But I thought it was just me. But I looked at all the photos, and you know, and him playing it, it's like, okay, he's left-handed, so uh, it looks terrific. I mean, all these look terrific. I'm very pleased, and it took a long time to correct them too, except for the Candyman, but. I kind of don't want to do anything to it, I might ruin it, but 
That's about it. Uh, I'm going to be working on some more here. Uh, I think I have some others drawn out too, but I don't know how that's going to come out. But well, I'm just glad to be done with these and show them to you. So, uh, Of course, there will be more to show pretty soon. So, okay, I'll stop talking now. So. Take care.